Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Join Events Pro by Savinaki. So let's go ahead and join the game. And as you can see, there are quite a few things. We have received items, which is very cool. You can obviously set all of this in the config file. We will go through that a bit later. You can set various messages that the player receives when he joins. And if we use forward slash JEP help, this will show us all of the commands. So there's quite a lot here. So I'm going to run through it. We have the server message of the day. You can check what that says. You also get one when you first join the server. You can look at um, the spawn locations as well. So this is a very cool feature. So you could set the join location in a rules room or something when players first join and then the other join location where they would spawn normally could be in your spawn. So the way you do that is very straightforward. JEP set F join location. So that would be in the rules room and you'd set the other location in the middle of spawn or a town or whatever. You can also um, have kits for when you first join and when you regularly join. Uh, they're both the same at the moment so uh, F join kit and the other kit are the same but you can obviously change this. And finally let's go through the modes, whitelist mode and maintenance mode. So for slash JP maintenance will allow you to do various things to your server. Everyone will lose connection and get this message and if we refresh you'll see Minecraft server server maintenance please check back later. So because I'm up I'm able to join and we could obviously turn that off if we really wanted to. And there we go we get the items again and we get messages. So let's have a look at the config.yml to see all of these things that we can change. So here we are in the Join Events Pro folder and if we go into the only config.yml we can see there is quite a lot of stuff in here. So let's start at the top. We obviously have all of the sounds that um, happen when you do various things so do not touch that as the developer has said there. We then have the messages when you first join, normally join and leave uh, so you can change the prefix and what it says. We then have the message of the day which is pretty cool. You could put your website link there and whatnot and the commands when you first join. So um, this is very cool, you can enable and disable this. When you join normally it says me, hi guys it's me again. Uh, you probably noticed that when we were in game. And console also performs a command when you first join and normally join. And also when you leave. So um, that will clear your inventory and you can enable or disable that. We then have some more items, um, sound sorry that you can change and you can also change the pitch and disable them and then we have fireworks but who doesn't like fireworks so it's good to keep that enabled. Down here we have the two kits as I mentioned you can obviously add and remove items from this so uh, diamond underscore helmet and you could give them one of this colon one like that and you can even disable it if you don't want that if you have another plugin that does that maintenance mode we have various messages here and it has allowed players so obviously you would want to add your admins and devs and all of those players to this list and then we have um, various kick messages and whether that's enabled or disabled server message of the day so this is very cool it has both lines uh, you don't often see plugins that um, have this feature unlimited players equals true although if you have too many players you might start to see lag depending on what plugins you have and what not and the same thing goes for whitelist. So um, that is very, very cool. At the bottom we have the locations we set. But yeah, that is the plugin. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.